Bennett Fitch here and welcome to another Nori unboxing. Today's unboxing is on Shell Lube Analyst. Now we all know Shell, Shell the oil company, Shell sells lubricants. But Shell also has a range of lubrication services, including Lube Analyst, so that's what we're gonna get in today. So starting an oil analysis program can sometimes be intimidating for people who don't know much about it. And you know, I'm in a position where I often train people on how to uh, start an oil analysis program, learn all the ins and outs about the data that comes back and interpreting that to have the best results. But one thing that mostly, mostly people will be familiar with is understanding, okay, we're gonna put oil in a bottle and we're gonna send it off to a laboratory. We're gonna receive back some data and be able to make decisions based on that. And the one thing I see here is that Shell Lube Analyst has kind of made it straightforward. Of course, we have the bottles. We have some labels we'll get to in a second, but right off the bat, I noticed that they have this package that the bottle eventually go into when it gets shipped, and the instructions are written right on it. So you can see things, okay, first take the sample and secure the lid when you're done. Um, it talks about how to put it in this bag, but first scanning a QR code that's on the label. That way, um, we can make sure that the bottle that we took the oil sample and oil into from your machine is properly connected to what's registered in the Shell Lube Analyst system. That way, when they make uh, all their calculations to provide you the results and give you some suggestions on interpreting the data, it's very well organized in their system. There's a way of submitting that sample information online, send it off, and once you, the laboratory receives it, within 48 hours, they can give you back your data and make good, important decisions. Okay, so let's go through some of these items in a little more detail now. Of course, you see the sample bottles, and really, that's the main item here. For anyone who's taking uh, oil samples before, um, you might think to yourself, this bottle looks a little different. Um, it's not the, the normal shape, but honestly, um, this bottle works just fine. It's probably a lot more compact when it comes to shipping and everything else. But the one thing that you need to know is that the bottle itself, the threads and the, and the lid are, are compatible with most vacuum pumps that you use to take a sample. So let's take a normal vacuum pump that we might use like this one. We see these and this is what we can screw on here. This is still the standard threading that you'll need to connect it right there when you're taking the sample. And so everything there works just fine. But what if we also need a tube? So we get a tube, we put it in there. This is a simple approach right here. We tighten this neural knob. And then of course, this needs to be connected to a machine. Now prior to putting this tube on there, we may in fact need to connect a, a device that lets us connect it to a sample valve. So this is a new one. I got to take out the, the protective covering on it. Okay, there we go. And connect it right there. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and this allows us to connect it to a sample valve. You can do this ahead of time. And imagine if our, our machine had, let's say, a condition monitoring probe, which has a, a sample valve on it already. So this has a tube going into the machine. And this right here would connect directly to that, just like this. And so, of course, this is not a machine right here, but it's, it's an imaginary machine right next to me I'm connecting to. And it's pretty straightforward from here. This is how you take the sample. The vacuum is created inside the sample bottle and the oil gets drawn in. Now, let's fast forward here and get into the discussion about how it makes it simple after all the sampling is done. Okay, so I just took an oil sample here. You can see this is a more viscous oil, probably a, a 320 or a 460. So let's say it's from a gearbox. Maybe I got this from an agitator gearbox or you know a main gearbox on a, a paper machine mill line. Um, wherever it may be, you know, this is something that could be important to, to understand the more details about how that data may be trending. Is the viscosity trending up or down? Are there contaminants in there? Maybe there's wear debris. I can't tell from here. That's what we need good oil analysis to figure that out. So the plan here at this point is to follow some instructions here. So I'm kind of looking at this for the first time and it's pretty straightforward. The one thing I see here is a little label I'm gonna be sticking on the bottle itself. The only thing I really need to write on it is today's date. So what is today's date? Figure that out, here we go. And take that label off. And put it on the bottle. 
pretty straightforward at that point. Now everything else, see there's a sticker here as well I can keep from my own records just so I have an ID associated to this. So if I had a sheet of paper with all of my samples being taken, I could just stick it right to it. You can also register on the Loop Analyst uh, mobile app. So let's say I had my mobile app out here, there's a scanner for a QR code, and it's real easy to kind of go like this and done, it's already scanned. That means this bottle now is registered to the system of what is properly on there. So at this point, I'm going to follow these instructions about simply uh, putting it in the bag right here, this in, and then I'll put the bottle in as well. And we're done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this off to get shipped to Shell to analyze the oil. It's really important to send this off pretty quickly because we wanna make sure that we have the best chance of getting that data so we can make the right decisions without wasting any time at all. Okay, so you just send this off to a laboratory. They're going to be working with you with their technical advisors and getting you the, a better understanding of what that data means, giving you follow-up recommendations, explaining why everything's secured online in their Lube Analyst system. And they'll work with you in trending data, benchmarking data, and figuring out what the best next course solution would be with your machines. So if you're looking to jumpstart your oil analysis program or get more into the condition monitoring space to better understand what's happening to your machine, it's a little bit intimidating first and you need a way to just get it going and figure out more, check out this program by Shell. You can go to shell.us to learn more about that. They have a great program here that kind of makes it easy to understand and get going um, with all the answers that you need. If you like today's video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. We have all sorts of lubrication, oil analysis, reliability videos coming out. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching today and seeing the next unboxing.